morning. As you may have noticed, I'm back in scrubs and boy does it feel good. Nice and comfortable. Now this morning I'm going to be watching a kidney transplant. I'm going to head over to the operating room soon and find the surgeon and I'll see you when I'm done with that one. Well, we're a few hours in now and they've just finished the first surgery. Now what they're doing today is a live kidney donor transplant. And that's where the kidney comes from a live person as opposed to a deceased kidney donor transplant. Now the kidney has been removed, it was laparoscopic surgery, so through little holes using cameras and they've taken the kidney out and put it onto ice to keep it fresh and they're preparing the kidney now. The next surgery will begin and this surgery coming up is where they'll put the kidney from the donor into the patient. Right, the second surgery is coming to a close. They've put the kidney in, they've connected up most of the vessels and now they've just got to close everything up and tie off all the loose ends. Now one of the interesting things about kidney transplants is unlike other uh, organ transplants, they don't remove the original organ when they put in the new one. So with kidney transplants, you have three kidneys. Obviously two of them aren't working and the third one is the transplanted one which takes over the function of the other two. Now I've left the operating room a little bit early because now I'm going to head to the ward We've got something called a mini CEX, which is where the registrar or one of the doctors will take us to a patient and we'll do a quick history and exam and he'll assess how we've gone on that. So, that mini CEX was cancelled in the end. It was an emergency downstairs that the doctors needed to get to. Instead, I'm going to head down and hopefully find a patient and do a history and exam for my case, which I'll write up um, at some point later on. Well, it seems there's no kidney patients down in the emergency floor. And I'm going to head back up and hopefully find someone on the ward instead. Well, it took a while, but I did manage to find a patient in the end. The guy I saw had something called contrast-induced nephropathy. And that was because he had a CT scan, and as part of the scan, they injected dye. And that dye can cause the kidneys to fail for a little bit. He's now mostly recovered. So it's now late. It's about 20 to 6. I'm starving. It's time to head home. So I've just done a quick session in the gym. I think that'll be me for tonight. I'm gonna just head back to my room and do a little bit of work. Um, it's been a good day today. I enjoyed getting back to the operating room um, and wearing scrubs. Now tomorrow it's into the hospital for maybe a clinic in the morning and then we'll see where we go in the afternoon. Thanks for joining me today and as always, stay healthy, stay happy and stay out of trouble. Bye.